Hey, what's up everyone, it's Freeze here. And we have actually new information and news about the Gothic remake. There was a new interview between their standard author Georg Pichler and Alchemia Interactive producer Reinhard Polis, where the author visited the studio in Barcelona and had a few words with Mr. Polis. If you are interested in reading the original article or visiting the website of their standard, the publisher of the interview, I will leave you the links in the description. Basically, I'm gonna recap what has been said about the new and bigger world size. We have actually an estimated release date, new quests and new uh, designs for weapons, armor and the beasts in the world and also I'm gonna share my opinions on those matters. According to Alchemia, the world will be around 15 to 20% bigger than before. Uh, they will be filled with new quests, especially uh, new and more quests for the three camps which the team couldn't fill in the original because of limited time. The dev team doesn't want to repeat the mistakes of uh, G1, there where it feels like you spend a lot of time gaining your respect in the camps and finally joining one, but then you get thrown pretty fast into the end game, where it uh, doesn't matter too much anymore which, uh, which one you have decided for. And this space can be filled with more and new interesting quests and other activities to explore and just spend more time with your chosen camp. Uh, after seeing the early versions of the game, uh, it has been a uh, noticeably darker ambience than the playable teaser, which was uh, released in 2019. Uh, after a lot of requests from the player community, this has been changed. A very critical topic will be the combat system for sure. We don't know too much about it for now, but uh, as far as we know there will be a directional element like in G1 and G2 when we are fighting our enemies. In uh, the Mimic we will also going to have different behaving models for the enemies as an example if uh, they are moving in a pack or alone and other AI controlled elements. And right now there is also a lot of work behind the UI and the menu systems, which uh, is getting something more suitable for modern games, which also sounds uh, like great news regarding the old menu systems of the older titles. To the end we got uh, a few informations about the background music, the dialogues and actually an estimated release date. So coming uh, to these topics, uh, I think many fans are interested in the background music and the sounds which will be reused after repolishing them and also new ones will be created but the author did describe those as very suitable and uh, close to the original ones and these aspects are same with the dialogues which will be stay close to the original. As an possible release date, Alchemia is thinking about 2024, so we can expect surely more information this year and a possible release next year. So for me, after reading this article and also other ones, I love the idea that the world will be bigger than before. Um, seemingly they want to fill it with more quests, they want to link more quests with the camps, which is a, which is a great idea. Just thinking about we will have uh, more quests and stories we didn't experience in the first one just uh, sounds amazing for me. As far as I know they have also recruited uh, a few models in their development team, so I think we can expect some amazing new stuff to be honest. And coming to the end of this video I would like to share one more thing. The artwork for the Harpy has been also released a few weeks ago, so if someone has missed out on that, I like it very much. It is, uh, It looks very detailed, of course it's an artwork, but I think we can expect an, a nice in-game model as well. So yeah, that's the end for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.